What is it, Captain Mango? Whales? Sharks? A bottle with a message inside. Can you get it, Ben? Got it! I've always wanted to find a bottle with a message in it. It's so mysterious. Oh my gosh, it's not a message. It's a treasure map. Hey, check it out. Aren't those the islands on the map? They sure are. Take us to the treasure island, Captain Mango. We start with that oak tree. It's right here on the map. According to the map, we're almost to the end of the trail. We're, we're here. here! Yay, we're here! Here I am. Captain John? Honey, Ben, Mango, what are you doing here? Are you having fun now that you're not a ghost anymore? Hi. I'm a treasure hunter now. I sail the seven seas looking for buried pirate treasure. Wow! What treasures have you found? Well, actually, this is my first treasure hunt. I found half of a treasure map in a bottle. So did we! Well, we've got two pieces of a map, but they don't match up. That's because the middle of the map is missing. <laughs> I think Mango found something important. Somebody carved writing into the post. This was written by Captain Long Tom Chapman. He was a famous pirate who sailed the seas hundreds of years ago. Every captain knows of him. After years of sailing the oceans, I, Captain Long Tom Chapman, have buried my last and most precious treasure here on this island. Oh boy, I get to dig and nobody's going to get upset with me digging up their flowers. I don't think there's any treasure here, Captain John. Then we'll try digging behind the post. Good question. Mango wants to know how we're going to get out of this hole. I didn't really think about that. I got too excited about finding treasure. I can stand on your shoulders, Captain. Ben can get on my shoulders, and Mango can climb out. Right, just step up there, Annie. Ben, climb on up. You should clip those toenails, Ben. Sorry, Captain John. It's your turn, Mango. <laughs> <laughs> Get the rope in my duffel bag. <laughs> now tie one end of the rope around the post and throw the other end of the rope down to us so we can climb out. I'll go up first and help you two out. <coughs> Made it. Hang on there. I've got you. Thanks, Captain John. Be sure dug a deep hole. Hi, honey. I don't think there's any treasure here. Maybe somebody else dug it up. We dogs do that all the time with bones we bury. It's a dog thing. Oh my goodness! Mango found the missing center of the map! And the X marks the top of that hill. The treasure isn't here. It's there! Hey. A real pirate chest! 
This could be a fortune in gold and diamonds. <laughs> or a bunch of pictures and books. Not much of a treasure. That's where you're wrong, men. This is the best of all treasures. Here's Captain Chapman riding the Loch Ness Monster. I'd heard they were friends. Wow, it looks like he was a good dancer, too. One of the best by the looks of that painting. Wow, he went everywhere and did everything. He was with the mermaids in Atlantis. We've been there. Must have been hard painting that underwater. <laughs> this must be a picture of Captain Chapman and his crew. This is a fantastic treasure, even better than gold and diamonds, because it's everything he really loved. We can't take this. This is no one's treasure but Captain Chapman's. Maybe someday his family will come looking for it. That's who this treasure belongs to. Well, we didn't get rich today, Annie. But we did find a pirate's treasure. You take the map, Annie. A souvenir of today. Goodbye, Captain John. Hope we see you again soon. Hey, Annie. Do you know why pirates are pirates? I shouldn't ask, but no, Ben. Why are pirates pirates? I don't know. They just... Arrgh. Oh, Ben, bad joke. <laughs> right? The Adventures of Annie and Ben. This is the north of England, and we're going to visit Chillingham Castle. So, we've been to castles before. Castles are fun. But Chillingham Castle is the most haunted castle in the world! Oh, Ben, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just joking. Uh, that's not me, Annie. It's Mango. Guys, we've had parties with vampires and werewolves. How scary can this castle be? Oh, nobody's here. I think we missed the tour. Well, the sign says they don't have guided tours after six at night. That's silly. The best time to visit a haunted castle is at night. Let's look around on our own, okay? Woof, woof. Yeah, sounds like fun. <laughs> Poor Mango, don't be scared. I'll hold your hand, okay? People have lived here since the year 1248, almost 800 years ago. Wow, that's 5,600 in dog years. Look, it's the pink room. What's so special about the pink room, Annie? The pink room is the home of the castle's most famous ghost. The blue ghost! The blue ghost! I didn't think there was a real ghost! I just thought it was a story! Uh -oh. We're trapped! What are you gonna do to us? Um. I've already done it. I'm welcoming you to my home. Doesn't anybody speak ghost anymore? Uh, I speak a lot of languages, but ghost isn't one of them. So, you're not gonna hurt us, are you? Why would I do that? You're my guests. Hi, we're Annie, Ben, and Mango. I'm Thomas, also known as the Blue Ghost. Can't really shake hands, you know. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, anyway. And now that you're here, I must show you around. Oh, I've waited so long for this. A ghost tour of Chillingham Castle. It doesn't get any better than this. Let's go! King Edward III himself walked this way in 1344. 
He walked what way? This way, like a king. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thomas tells great bad jokes. <laughs> oh, sorry, just pulled down on that torch. A secret passageway. How cool! Quickly, quickly, I'm only here during the night, and we have so much to see. It's dark in here. I, I can't see where we're going! Oh my, what fun! I do so hope you're having fun. This is the best! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This might be the best time I've ever had in a haunted castle. I'm delighted. Where are we, Thomas? Welcome to the Great Hall. Yeah, it sure is great. It was here, in the balcony, that the minstrels played during the great banquets. And look at this. This tapestry depicts the Battle of Ondermann in 1898. A tapestry is a rug you hang on a wall. This one is like a giant photograph from over a hundred years ago. And do you know why they hung the rugs on the wall? No, why? To keep the cold air out! <laughs> Thomas, this is absolutely... The best tour we've ever taken anywhere! Ever! Yeah! Alas, not everyone is as understanding as you three. They all run away. They stop the tours at night because of me. Well, have you ever tried saying hello, welcome? Instead of... <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? You're right, of course. Uh, oh. <clears throat> hello, welcome. Uh, hello there, welcome, welcome. Looks like we're too late, folks. Keep practicing, Thomas. I have an idea. We'll have to come back in the daytime. No, no, come on in. We're having a very special night tour with a celebrity. <laughs> Wait right in there. I'll be with you shortly. Oh, this is fun. I'll meet you in the Great Hall. This is perfect. And the tour guide said he'll bring another tour tomorrow night. That's great, Thomas. Woof, 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 woof. I want you to have this as my thanks for all you've done. I've had it for 600 years. A ghost flute. It plays itself. Oh, thank you, Thomas. I wish we had something to give you. You have. You've given me a whole new life. You're going to love the tapestry. I'm so glad we could help Thomas. Yeah, I was worried for a while. I didn't think Thomas had a ghost of a chance. He's a ghost. A ghost of a chance, like almost no chance. Get it? The Adventures of Annie and Ben. We can doff there, Captain Mango. Wow, this is some forest, Annie. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest in the world, Ben. <laughs> there are plants and animals that don't live anywhere else on the Earth but here. <laughs> Monkeys? Yes. Special monkeys, no. Aww. Don't be sad, Mango. You can be the guest special monkey, okay? Annie, 
something in that bush doesn't sound very happy. Let's just back away slowly, okay, guys? Holy cow! What's that? That's a giant ant eater! Hello! <laughs> ah, her name is Charo. You can hear her? Good dog ears. Charo can't speak any louder because... She has such a tiny mouth! <laughs> yeah, and Charo says she's really hungry. You're an ant eater, and there are trillions of ants in the Amazon. Charo doesn't want to eat ants anymore because of Chaz. Who's Chaz? That's Chaz. He's an ant. He's Charo's best friend. Roof. Charo says Chaz says hello. Wow, he's so tiny, I can't hear him, but Charo can. Ant eaters have better hearing and a better sense of smell than dogs, Ben. Wow, you're like a super dog with a tiny mouth. I'm Annie, and this is Ben and Mango. And you don't have to worry, Charo. We're going to find you something to eat, something that isn't Chaz. Mango will look up in the trees while we look for food down here. I smell something good underground, Annie. That's a wild yam. And it's too big for Charo's mouth. Mm, but not too big for Chaz. Mango, that coconut's bigger than the yam. How can Charo eat that? Coconut milk is a great drink, Mango. But we still have to find her something to eat. Hey, Annie! I found some tiny berries! Those are akai berries, Ben. They grow wild in the Amazon. They're very good for you. They're packed with calcium and vitamin A for strong bones and healthy eyes. Hey, Charo, try these. Uh, I think we've got a very bad problem. No time for bad jokes, Ben. Something's wrong. Oh my gosh, ant eaters don't have teeth. You can too. You have to spit them out. Oh, she's rolling towards the river. We have to catch her. The Amazon River is filled with piranhas. What are piranhas? Man-eating fish. Oh, it's a good thing she's an anteater and not a man. Oh, no. We're not going to reach her in time. Wow! Chaz sure is strong! Ants can lift stuff that's 50 times heavier than they are. I think Chaz is even stronger than that. Woof, woof. He's like a super ant. Let me see if that's okay to eat, Mango. <laughs> oh no! That's a South American hot pepper! Duck! I mean... Ant-eater! Mango! Coconut! <coughs> Got it! <coughs> Hollow <coughs> weed! <coughs> nice move, Chaz! Drink it up, Charo. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Mango, it's a passion fruit. This is perfect. Passion fruit is sweet, soft, goopy, and not hot. 
Here, Charo. Mm. Wow! She really, really likes it! Yeah, what Charo said, Chaz. Thanks. <laughs> Chaz is sending down a year's supply. <laughs> Goodbye, Charo. Glad we could find you some good food. <laughs> oh, Charo and Chaz have a gift for us. So we always remember them. An Amazon orchid! It's so beautiful! Thank you so much! Stop, Annie! What's wrong, Ben? Chaz is still holding on to the bottom! Oops, sorry, Chaz. Phew! That was almost an ant plant accident! Oh, Ben, that <laughs> joke! <laughs> of Annie and Ben. <laughs> A rainforest in Puerto Rico? Who knew? It's the only tropical rainforest in the United States Forest Service, and it's fun! Hey, you want to splash? You get the doggy paddle. Hey, don't! I give up! You win! <laughs> you mess with the dog, you get the paddle paws. You know what else is in Puerto Rico? What? Oh, the chupacabra. That's the monster that attacks goats. <laughs> <laughs> you too. There's no such thing as a chupacabra. It's just a story. Then what's that? Chupacabra! Run! I don't see him. That's because he's in front of us! <laughs> Get out! Please don't hurt us. Why would I want to do that? You can speak? You're surprised. Your dog talks. And so do you. The monkey, not so much. No offense. You seem like a nice guy. I'm sorry. We didn't know you were real, Mr. Chupacabra. Hey! That's not my name. Is your name Little Girl? And you guys, are you dog and monkey? No. The name's Enrique. Pleased to meet you. I'm Annie. This is Ben, and he's Mango. You know Ben. We just met. But I was wondering if you could do me a little favor. Uh, I think so. What is it? I want to be a dog. Can you teach me how? What? <laughs> Why do you want to be a dog? I don't want to be just any dog. I want to be that boy's dog. He's here every day. He's all alone. I'm all alone. That's not right. We could keep each other company if I was his dog. You want to be a goat herder's dog? Yeah! You always hear about the boy and his dog. You never hear about the boy and his chupacabra. But I thought chupacabras attacked goats. <coughs> hey, I hate that story. That's totally bogus. Who doesn't like goats? I like goats, especially baby goats. They're so cute. Aww. So, what do you say? Teach me to be a dog? Sure. Shake. That was your first dog lesson. People like it when dogs shake their hands. Hey, this is going to be easy. Now pay attention to Ben. This is how dogs swim. Dogs do the dog paddle. Like this? <laughs> 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 
You've got to do it faster! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get this. You just need to practice. So, this is dinner. And breakfast, and lunch. It's dog food. It's what dogs eat. If you want to be a dog, you have to eat it. No! You don't pick it up. You get down on your paws and eat it. Like this. Oh, yeah. I get it. Interesting. There's a monkey in my food. Is that a dog thing? No, it's a mango thing. That was pretty good. Let's try it again. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. Perfect. Great job. I got this. Back, Chupacabra! Don't hurt my goat! Woof! Woof? You're a dog? He's a dog? Well, we can't lie. Enrique's not really a dog, but he wants to be a dog. Because he doesn't think you like a Chupacabra. We've been training him to be a dog. He's really good. Yes, he is. He saved my goat. But you don't have to be a dog. I could use the help and a friend. It's lonely out here. My name is Carlos. You got a deal, Carlos. And a friend for life. This is great. Come on, Enrique. The herd is just over the hill. Be right there, Carlos. Here. I want you to have my hat. Something to remember me by. The day I became a dog. And then I became myself. And I made four new friends. Hey, thanks. Have fun with Carlos. How do I look? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Back with the herd. I can see you're going to be a handful. Where's he going? To herd goats. What? Herd goats. Sure, I've heard goats. They go ba. Oh, Ben, bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> the Adventures of Annie and Ben. Were you kidding when you said these were all built without trucks and machines? This was all built by hand. Thousands of people worked on them. See? Hey, pictures. Those pictures are called hieroglyphics. That's how the ancient Egyptians told their stories. Wow, just like comic books. <laughs> Don't worry, Mango. I brought a lamp. How do we get out now? I'm sure we can find the way out if we read the hieroglyphics. <coughs> it's a mummy! At least he's a little one. Why, thank you. I've always wanted to see the pyramids. You understand him with all those bandages over his mouth? It's not what he says. It's the way he says it. And he's a friend. I'm TK. Pleased to meet you, TK. I'm Annie, and these are my friends, Ben and Mango. <coughs> he wants her help finding something. Oops. 
the batteries ran down. Thank you, TK. That's much better. Ooh, this is exciting. TK is looking for a hidden treasure chest. Oh, boy! <laughs> I've always wanted to go on a real treasure hunt. Yeah, and in a pyramid with a real mummy. The hieroglyphics say to go this way. It's a dead end. What do we do now? Oh, no. It's a trap. We're going to get squished! Ooh. TK says to read the walls. There may be a way out. Good job, Mango. <laughs> Follow TK. Isn't this great? So mysterious. I'm just glad we didn't get squished. Oh, that's a pretty deep hole. It's a bottomless pit. How do we get to the other side? There's a bar up there. We could swing across, but it's too high. It's still too far away, but maybe... Maybe what? Mango's feet are cold. Everybody hold on. Mango, you grab the bar. Ah It's okay. This is the treasure chest he was looking for. <laughs> it's his toy box. I have one at home, too. Hey, Mango. It's treasure to TK. TK wants you to have one of his toys as a souvenir. It's a soldier with a dog hat. <laughs> TK says it's an Anubis. That's a jackal head, not a dog head. These hieroglyphics say that Anubis protects the pyramids and the mummies inside. It's very important to TK. <gasps> Much fun, but how do we get out of the pyramid? Wow, I wish cool stuff would happen when I clapped my paws. Thanks, TK. We're never gonna forget this adventure. Uh -uh. What? What's wrong, Mango? Uh -uh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, walk like an Egyptian. I get it. Bye, TK. We'll come back to visit someday. Oh, yeah. And next time, let's meet your daddy and your mommy. Oh, dad took Ben. <laughs> of Annie and Ben. Now I know why they call this the Black Forest. Yeah! It's lunchtime, but it's as dark as supper time. All the spookiest Grim Brother fairy tales happened here. You know, like Snow White, Little Red Riding Hood, and Hansel and Gretel? They are just stories, right, Annie? Of course! That's what fairy tales are. Just stories. Wow! It's a trail of breadcrumbs. Let's follow them and see where they go. Hey, Annie. Yes, Ben? Wasn't there a trail of breadcrumbs in one of the fairy tales you read us at bedtime? Yeah. It was in Hansel and Gretel. They followed a trail of breadcrumbs to... A witch's gingerbread house. Oh... I didn't think. <laughs> I thought it was you three. Camilla! We haven't seen you since Vlad's party in Transylvania. They're still talking about what fun that party was when you three showed up. Are you the witch with the gingerbread house? From the fairy tale? No, that's my Aunt Agnes. She's on holiday, and I'm planning a surprise for when she comes back. We love surprises. Can we help? Mm. Actually, yes. I'm going to build my aunt a new house. A new house? Why? It looks great. <laughs> and Mango says it tastes good, too. Yes, my aunt makes delicious houses, but... There's a problem with gingerbread. Oh my gosh, what happened? It rained. Gingerbread grows quite soggy when it's rained on. Are you going to use your magic? Make a new house appear? Can you do that? Uh, unfortunately, we witches have only one house spell, and it's for gingerbread and candy houses. Well, you've got plenty of trees for a new house. Oh no, it's against witch law to cut down trees. Good. They're too beautiful to cut down anyway. So, what are you going to use to make the new house? Vegetables. Vegetables? <laughs> Don't be so surprised. A witch's vegetable garden is a very special place. How strange. This looks so different from the rest of the Black Forest. Actually, it's not part of the forest. Annie, this smells like a... Carrot. This is my auntie's vegetable garden. Wow, giant vegetables. <coughs> We'd better get to work before Mango eats all the building stuff. This is going to take forever. Oh, I didn't think about this. We need the proper tools. Bigger shovels? No. Bigger dog! Alright, here comes the big dog! I think Ben likes being a giant dog. But the spell will only last a few minutes. <laughs> That's good. I don't think I have enough dog food to feed a giant Ben. <laughs> oh, Camilla, this is a great idea. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be beautiful when they're done. <laughs> Onion skins will make fantastic windows. <laughs> well, once they're dry, <laughs> so will our eyes. <laughs> ah, these will make a great roof. Uh oh falling! I've got the perfect spell! Sappo! <laughs> Thanks, 
Thanks, Mango. <laughs> Leave it to Mango to make work a game. We witches have always had a soft spot for flying monkeys. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, Camilla? Yes, of course. We're friends. Well, in the fairy tale, the witch used the gingerbread house to catch children and, uh... <laughs> Cook them. I know, isn't that silly? We witches are all vegetarians. And my auntie invented that story and told it to the Grimm brothers to keep the children away. She doesn't like children? She likes them very much. That's why she wanted them to stay away. I don't understand. They were nibbling on her house. All that sugar gave them painful cavities in their teeth. Oh, that makes sense then. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, I think you could have. Mm, yes, but it's so much more fun to have friends helping. <laughs> <laughs> we hate to leave, Camilla, but it's getting late. You can't leave without something to remember this by. Hey, our own vegetable house. <laughs> no nibbling, Mango. Thank you, Camilla. We had a great time. And now that we've built a vegetable house, let us leave. Get it? Let us leave. Let us leave. Oh, my bad joke. Actually, I found that very funny. <laughs> Get it? Very funny. Very funny. <gasps> yes. Oh, good one. <laughs> of Annie and Ben. All I see is white. Don't worry, Ben. We're almost there. But where's there? There is here. The Ice Hotel. Oh! It's like the biggest snow fort ever. Except it's not snow. The whole place is carved out of ice. There are more ice hotels in the Lapland region of Scandinavia than anywhere else in the world. Even the desk bell is made of ice. Welcome to the ice hotel. I'm Sven and you are? I'm Annie and this is Ben and Mango. Wow, you're my age and you're running a hotel? Well, that wasn't my plan. My parents and staff went to get supplies in the town. But an avalanche blocked the road back. They can't return until the road is cleared. And that will be tomorrow. And there are a lot of hungry guests who want room service. And because of the avalanche, the only food we have in the kitchen is bananas. We can help. Hmm? We can? How? Take us to your kitchen. A monkey shape? I don't know about this. Ooh, I've never had cold banana soup before. It's good. Mango knows a thousand banana recipes. All of them are great because... Who doesn't, doesn't like, like bananas? bananas? I don't know anyone who doesn't like bananas. This could work. Room service? Yes, our special tonight is banana soup. The bingos in room 517 want two bowls of banana soup. <laughs> Do I have to say it? 
The soup's on me! <laughs> oh, bad, oh, bad joke. That's a terrible song. Stop. <laughs> Room service. Try to face sir. A large banana soup for Mr. Sticky Goo in room 420. Room service. You want ten bowls of banana soup? We'll have it up to you right away. Mango. <coughs> Careful with that. The floor is made of ice too, you know. Wow, they really like that soup. Wait until I tell them. Mango? I'll stop you, Mango. Mr. Sticky Goo sure liked that soup. I've never seen anyone eat so. Mango? Ben? He's out of control. Help me stop him. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Hey, the banana saved us! And they're all pre-smushed for the soup! Thank goodness you're back! All the guests heard about the banana soup, and now everyone wants it! Wow! You're a great chef! But what are we going to do about all those orders? There's only four of us! We're in Sweden! Why not have a smorgasbord? Oh, what's a smorgity door? It's a Swedish buffet! We put everything on a big table so everyone can serve themselves! Do we have a table big enough for all the food? We will in a minute! Remember, I'm an ice sculptor! This will hold a huge smorgasbord! This will work! Welcome guests to the Ice Hotel's magnificent banana buffet on ice! What a fantastic oh, table! I heard about what is this beautiful art out of ice! Our first course... The soup oh, is exactly. delicious! Exactly what I expected from a monkey. Ooh, oh, it's delightful! Lovely. Mango's eye! Hit! Time for the second course! Let's dazzle them, Ben! A second course, banana dogs! Ready, Ben? Let's spin and win, Annie! Ooh. Ooh. I love these! I'm gonna yelp about it. Are you ready for the big finale? Dessert! Ladies and gentlemen, the Ice Hotel proudly presents dessert! Ready, Chef? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Banana splits for everyone! Hooray! <laughs> this snowflake is for you. No two snowflakes are alike. They are all one of a kind, just like you, Mango. Mango? We had a great time, Sven. Yeah, Mango made the whole place go bananas. Oh, Ben. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. No. Bad joke. <gasps> of Annie and Ben. I can't believe we're in New York. The Big Apple, the largest city in the world. The home of Times Square, Broadway, Park Avenue. And my favorite, Central Park. 
Who would ever guess a giant park would be in the middle of Manhattan Island in New York City? Places to run, new things to see, food to eat, squirrels to chase. Stick together, guys. You can easily get lost here, so... <laughs> Squirrel? Where? Oh, boy! <laughs> hey, wait for me so we can stay together. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, did he get away before you could play with him, Ben? <laughs> wow, this looks serious. Can you understand them, Ben? I sure can. The squirrel is the president of the park animals, and he's telling the raccoon he has to leave the park. Ah, oh, the poor raccoon. I can see he doesn't want to leave. He's so sad. We should see if we can help. You poor thing. What's wrong? Somebody stole a hot dog from the cafe. Stealing food from humans is against the park animal rules, and they think Art did it. Oh, sorry. This is Art. Art, this is Annie, and Mango, and I'm Ben. Pleased to meet you, Art. Did you steal the hot dog? Me, me, me. Art says they think he's the thief because a rabbit saw an animal with a mask and a striped tail. That's not fair. They can't make him leave just because of his face. Or his tail. Lots of animals have masks and stripes. I think we should talk to the rabbit. Good idea, Ben. <laughs> oh, Mango, it's just a statue. See how people and animals can make mistakes? Is that the bunny art? the rabbit! He'll think you're chasing him! Hey! I want to talk to you! No! Wait! I just want to talk! Wait for us, Ben! Oh, look! There's a turtle pond! And we're heading right for the ramble! It's a bird sanctuary! <laughs> Good idea, Mango! <laughs> Travel by tree! Come on, I just want to talk. Slow down. Yeah, you talk to a mango. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. This isn't a wrestling match. We just want to talk. Robert, the rabbit here, says he saw you running away from the cafe with a hot dog. What's he saying, Ben? He says he just saw Art over by the cafe where the hot dog was stolen. But that's impossible. Art was with us. Then someone else, who looks like Art, took the hot dog. Spread out. Watch the cafe. Maybe they've come back for more hot dog. Nothing over here. Excuse me, but I just need to look under your table for a hot dog thief. Nope, no hot dog thief. Thank you. That's him! The thief! Mango, no! Gotcha! Wow! <sighs> All right. Why 
why'd you steal the hot dog, cat? Meow. Oh, this is Esther. She says she didn't take the hot dog. Come on, guys. Let's hear Esther's side of the story. Esther says the hot dog fell off the table. We can eat human food if it falls on the ground. It's animal law. Yeah, I think that's a human law, too. But the park animals think Art stole the hot dog because you two look so much alike. You'd better tell the squirrel what really happened or they'll make Art leave the park. And the park is his home. <coughs> Esther lives in that apartment building. She'd never want to lose her home. So she's going to go with Art to talk to the squirrel. Wow, glad we could help. So what do you guys want to do now? I've been running all morning, Annie. Could you get your hot dog a hot dog? Sure, I'm hungry too. I think New York hot dogs are the best. Yeah. Looks like everything's okay, Annie. Art wants you to have a souvenir, so you'll always remember today. Oh, thank you, Art. Look, guys, it's a map of Manhattan. We don't have to worry about getting lost anymore. Hmm, where should we go next? <laughs> the Adventures of Annie and Ben. Is everything green here? Of course, Ben. That's why they call Ireland the Emerald Isle. Because it's so green. One side, leprechaun coming through. Urgent business. Uh, le le leprechaun? What's a leprechaun? Little magical people that live in Ireland. The story is, if you catch one, they have to give you a pot of gold. Ah. You shouldn't have said that. Mango loves to find treasure. <laughs> Follow, Follow that, that monkey! monkey! Sound. Is it the scream of a banshee? Tickles! <laughs> oh my! Ah, you're not a banshee. A banshee is a screaming ghost. You're just a tourist monkey. You're a real leprechaun? Real enough to get arrested by a monkey, that's for sure. I suppose you want me a pot of gold, don't you now? Well, I don't have one. You'll have to settle for a bag of peanuts some other tourist dropped. I'm Annie. This is Ben and that's Mango. I'm Seamus. Sorry about the pot of gold. The stories say that all leprechauns have a pot of gold. Well, I did have one. I've sort of misplaced it. Oh, is that why you're so sad? Oh, the shame of it. A leprechaun without a pot of gold is like a dog without a bone. I I don't have a bone. Then you know how I feel, doggy. Ow! 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 Okay, that's enough feeling sorry for yourselves. Let's just look for your pot of gold so everyone can be happy again. What about a bone? <laughs> well, we'll find you a bone too, Ben. Oh boy! Woof, woof! Huts where I had it last. Oh my goodness! Is this a fairy ring? I thought it is. The fairies dance and sing here. I was here fixing Dale's shoes. He dances holes in his soles every night. Hmm. You fix shoes? Leprechauns are also magical cobblers. Cobblers make and fix shoes. In our ancient Gaelic language, the word leprechaun means shoemaker. Yeah, Mango thinks maybe the fairies move the pot of gold so they'd have more room to dance. Can we ask a fairy? Let's see if he's home. Hello, Dale. Are you up? I am now. What is it, Seamus? Seamus can't find his pot of gold. Did you move it? We needed more room to dance. It was Texas two-step night. 
Marty put your pot on a tree stump somewhere. Thank you, Dale. By the way, I'm Annie. That's Ben and Mango. A monkey? I've never met one. Do you like to dance? We fairies love to dance. We know every dance in the universe. Watch this. Oh, no you don't. You start dancing and magic starts happening. And we've no time for that. Let's get me pot of gold and then look for a bone for Ben. If you don't mind me asking, isn't it hard to lose a pot of gold? Not what all I have to do. I make shoes for all the supernatural creatures in Ireland. Every night I make or fix a thousand pairs. Banshees are the worst. They like shoes, but they've got no feet. And when you ask them something, all they do is... Oh my! Yeah, try having a conversation with Tat. I had no idea leprechauns were so busy. Annie! Woof, woof, woof. Found it! <coughs> me put a gold! Wait for me, Seamus! <coughs> wow, that lid's on tight! You found it! You're my heroes! I don't know how I'd ever find it without... <coughs> Will I find it now? We're so sorry, Seamus. Without me pot of gold, I'm just a short cobbler. Cobblers, shoes, dancing. I think I know what we can do. Wait here. Don't worry. Annie always has good ideas. I believe you. And while we're waiting, what do you say, Mango? Best two out of three. Woof, woof. Okay, this one is for the championship. I'm back. Hello, Seamus. Annie has a great idea for finding your gold. A dance? How can that help? Not just any dance. We fairies know all the dances. And this one is... A rain dance! Oh, this is wonderful! I'm wet and I still don't have me pot of gold! It's not about the rain, it's what happens after the rain! A rainbow! And what's at the end of every rainbow? A pot of gold! Woof, woof, woof! At the end of the rainbow! Woof, woof! Me gold! And Dale's magic fairy dancing made a bone for Ben and a banana for Mango! Is there, is there anything for Annie? Of course there is! A genuine pair of leprechaun made dancing shoes! How beautiful! Thank you so much! Well, now that everybody has what they want, I guess we should shoo. You know, shoo, like in go away, not shoo like Annie has. Get it? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Bad job. The bunches <laughs> were like that one. <laughs> <laughs>